Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are going to be general, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't resonate, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. I'm going to look at you and your person and see how they feel about you, what their next move is going to be, how they see the relationship and so on. So let's see, what's this person's energy towards Leo? What's their energy? Okay. This person, they want to communicate. Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. This is someone who at least feels like you guys are soulmates. Or it's a soulmate connection. That's how they feel. We have the Eight of Wands and the Five of Swords. So their energy is quite geared towards you. This person may start to communicate with you very soon if they haven't already. Um, but there might be... Some, it's like they have something on their mind that they, I get the feeling they want to get something off their chest. But they don't, I feel like they don't want the conflict either. Like they want to say something or get, get what they have to get off their chest, but not have an argument about it. Like it not turn into an argument type of thing. So this person, I feel like they're kind of treading lightly with you getting certain feelings off their chest or will be very soon what's leo's energy towards this person some of you may may feel stabbed in the back by this person it could be a connection that once ended and it's starting to reopen or reconnect start over but some of you may have felt hurt by this person at one point or or currently you do want to some of you are wanting to either move on from them or move to a better place with them like make things right what went on in the recent past for leo recent past energy some of you felt like this was quite stable willing to take the leap this was once a stable connection that made you feel willing to like just leap and and give your all but then you start you felt the need to pull back you started to not like what was being done not like the behavior not liking how things were going after a while with this person what's the energy of this connection what's the energy oh my gosh really the sun card falls on the floor and sun card is leo energy so let's see show me the energy of this connection energy of this connection okay it could be long distance we got cancer energy here so and the two of cups again could be a long distance connection but i'm seeing that there is a lot of indecisiveness here there may be some changes going on and i'm seeing things moving forward and changing but it's it's about whether you and your person or you or your person can handle change there is kind of an out with out with the old type of vibe let me get some more messages from this deck give me some insights for leo and their connection Wow, quite positive. We got I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun, flirting, wants to date. We have palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. We have soulmates, soulmate connection, partnership, agreement, soul contracts. We do have the two of cups that showed up twice, so I believe in this card right now. We have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Gaslighting is a bad thing, but in today's day, the way things are, watching, looking, and stalking is like everyone does that. So 
You even do that when, even when your relationship is going right, you still look at your person's story, you still look at their posts. So that's kind of normal now, I guess. Depends on the level of stalking. Okay, so with all these cards being positive here, it does look like it's like there, this connection was very strong and, and very stable, and it still is, but there could have been some interference. And it's like this person has, as I said before, they have something to get off their chest. They want to express something without causing conflict. And I see that there's, there's a chance of getting back to that stable place where you felt stable and things felt right. Um, it's just that I feel like neither one of you want any kind of conflict at the moment because there may have been enough conflict in the past and it's like not wanting to fight again. So let me look at your person and see what's going on with them. Leo, show me the person that Leo is dealing with right now. What's their energy? How do they feel about Leo? Show me the person that Leo is dealing with. Really? <laughs> How do they feel about Leo? What's their next move going to be? moment you're dealing with someone who kind of wants to be alone or they just enjoy being alone in general That's so annoying. fruit flies hanging around I will get rid of them soon so we have the ace of wands we have the hermit they could be a Virgo Capricorn with the devil card but my gosh, they see the relationship as the devil, so they feel like there's some toxicity still in this relationship. They could even admit that it comes from them. Um, for some of you, it could come from them, it could come from you. But there seems to be like, they still, they still feel tied to this connection. However, they just seem a little bit distant. I feel like they're... I feel like even if even if they're not talking to you, they still feel tied to this connection and always did. Even during a long separation, we have a sorry, we have the three of cups. That's how they see you. Some of you, this person may feel like they may assume that you have other people, like you're talking to someone else. For some of you, but. They also, I feel like they see you as a more positive type of person than them. Someone who can be more positive. That could be why they don't want to bring any conflict and kind of ruin your happiness or your positive energy. We have the world. They feel that it may be completely over between you two. They fear the complete ending. We have the king of wands as their wishes. So they do wish to continue whatever they had going on with you, especially if it was very passionate. But the Six of Pentacles, the King of Swords, blocking. Somebody has their sword up, someone is protective. So it could be, this could be their own energy, them being a little bit defensive. And it would connect with the Hermit, them wanting to be alone all the time. Um, but we have them kind of trying to be there for everyone some of you they may there may be someone like they may spend a lot of time with family or attend to other needs other people instead of this relationship 
at times. I don't feel like it's all the time. We have the Queen of Swords as their next move. And them having the King of Swords, now the Queen of Swords. It shows that this person is really, really guarded. It's like they, they're they they're tied to this connection. They feel like, it's, like this is a soulmate connection. But they feel the need to protect their heart as well. It could be that for some of you, they feel that you could ease. It's either... They feel you could easily move on or that you already have someone in mind and this is a fear for them because then they could get hurt so it's like they're coming at you with with their heart shielded from you so it's kind of pointless um we have the nine of swords position of what you need to know this person does have a lot of inner fears they have a lot of anxiety and a lot of things on their mind um, that they deal with so we've got the king of cups as the outcome they plan I feel like they plan to give you their heart but the question is is it still with this queen of swords energy is it still with is it still going to be in a guarded type of way where they're not 100% opening up to you? Show me Leo in this situation. The lovers could be dealing with the Gemini. Two of Cups again. How does Leo feel in this connection? Show me Leo's feelings. You're viewing them as toxic. Maybe they do have toxic energy. And I feel like that's why they're really guarded. Because they know that they have these fears. Fear of rejection. Fear of abandonment. And that brings toxicity into the relationship. I feel like this is a common theme with Leo. You always find these toxic people. These people who have issues. <laughs> um, they're viewing the relationship as the emperor. And they're sorry, you're viewing the relationship as the emperor. Some of you feel like you can really gain control of the situation, but you're still seeing them as a devil. Um, they could be an Aries, they could be a Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. But you are definitely hesitant to take a leap of faith. You may have done that in you may have done that in the past and it caused you pain. So this is now in your fears, the full card. You're definitely not trying to take a risk, but you are wishing for this two of cups. And it's here for the fourth time. You are wishing for your soulmate to come forward, whether it's this, this person or whoever. Like I feel like you just want your soul connection to come forward. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in the center though. So there hasn't been much movement in that department, but we got the Queen of Swords blocking. You see the pattern with these swords, the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, and the fact that they are blocking the situation. It shows that it's this person's um, shield that is stopping this connection from going somewhere, but their shield has to do with their inner fears. So we got the moon as your next move. Some of you plan to just kind of either stay in the dark or try to uncover what's going on with this person. But we've got the nine of wands and this, the four of swords. I do see you taking a break and you are being hesitant, but this is, whoa, that scared me. They're so loud upstairs. Every, everywhere I move to, they're loud. So we have the nine of, nine of wands this being in the position of what you need to know, it could be this person being standoffish, like wanting to come forward, but being standoffish. And I see you just taking a break from all of that confusion. I see that you want some kind of um, completion in your life, like just finding the person or just being with this person 100%. But I see you taking a break from that, from that kind of quest type of thing. 
Let's see. Let me get some messages. Any messages for Leo? Show me what's going on with Leo. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So try to visualize and, you know, maybe meditate because the Four of Swords can be about meditation as well. Maybe meditate on exactly what you want in your soulmates. We have passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. My gosh. So pay attention to the red flags, the signs of cautioning you. I feel like that has to do with the devil energy that you're seeing in this person, the toxic energy. We have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So whether it's this person that you're needing to release or whether it's someone before them or some type of energy, just kind of let, let the universe do what it's doing. Let things unfold naturally. Uncover what you wanted to uncover to get answers for yourself, but allow it to just unfold, okay? Because I see that you feel really connected to them, but you're worried about this devil energy that you're seeing. You're worried about their behavior. I would just uncover it for yourself, but don't try to make any moves. Um, just let it unfold because this person with the hermit they could be on their own journey trying to find themselves trying to heal themselves so just let it unfold and see what happens messages for leo sorry there's something on my shoulder messages for leo recovery see i feel like somebody is healing here we have it's up to you perfect timing opportunity and wait so the perfect opportunity is coming in the perfect timing we have if you believe that has to do with manifestation so if you really are trying to manifest this person or someone ideal for you just visualize meditate and let it unfold it will surely happen okay so Again, we have Virgo, Capricorn, Aqua sorry, maybe Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Aries, Capricorn again, Pisces, Cancer. Those are the main signs that I'm seeing. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing for you. They are trying to heal. They, they see the relationship. They see how they're bringing toxicity into the relationship. So the hermit tells me that they could be really focusing on working through those issues. All right. So. Leo. This is what I'm seeing. I was just looking at this king of cups. I feel like this is where they're trying to get to. This king of cups where they can actually give themselves to you but we'll see check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect in your love life leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one